Hello everybody, my name is Zul and welcome back to Modding Fallout New Vegas. In today's episode, I bring you weather mods. Weather mods are perhaps my number one type of mods for Fallout New Vegas. And fun fact, uh, getting rid of the yellow tint and improving the skies in New Vegas is actually one of the reasons I got really into modding, which eventually led to this channel. So fun little fact there. Uh, because of that, I am going to be bringing you three mods today, three great weather mods in just four short little clips uh, to let you decide which mod you'd like to put into your game. You can only pick one and each of them is a little bit different. I might be doing full videos on them later, but for now, four clips because we don't want this video to last forever. Uh, we're going to be covering Nevada Skies, Project Reality, and the Realistic Wasteland Lighting Enhancement mod. They'll be all labeled. The number one thing that I use these mods for is getting rid of the yellow smudge and desaturation on the screen. Look at the sky on the top right hand side as I fade in our first mod and you'll be able to immediately tell the difference. The wood and the ground look more vibrant, the sky looks more blue. And that's kind of a common theme with the first mod, Nevada Skies, which makes things look much more violent, vibrant. It is a mod of extremes. It is really great if you're into that. Now, some of the other mods are going to be a bit different. Project Reality, as you can see, features a lot more um, darker overcast tones, but it still looks great and it still removes that. Uh, I have used Project Reality a lot in most of my playthroughs because it features some really awesome weather, um, extremely detailed cyclings and things like that. Uh, the Realistic Wasteland Lighting Enhancement is a mod that I haven't really used but it does feature some good weather and the skies themselves keep the closest to the vanilla tones that I found. It seems to just remove the desaturation and not do a whole lot more. So if you like that sort of subtle feel, that's the mod that I would suggest. In this next series of clip, I'm going to be comparing everything against Project Reality just so you can get a bit of a sense of the mods compared to each other. You can immediately see the yellow tone now as soon as I throw vanilla over top of that, so if you weren't sure about it before, you can sure as heck see it there. Now in this case there's weather going on in Nevada skies. Now this is different yet similar to the weather we saw previously uh, and overall again things still look a little bit more vibrant, a little bit more crazy in Nevada skies uh, compared to realistic wasteland lighting which it basically just looks how, how the sky would be in vanilla without all the desaturation and stuff and Project Reality in the cases of those series again looked a little bit different, uh, a little bit more faded. Uh, I've also included a night scene because if you don't know this in the vanilla game there's not a lot of difference between night and day I mean that is a very very bright night but when we fade in our first mod Nevada skies you can see things get really dark. If you're wondering about the light post, we're adding Electro City uh, to kind of compensate for how dark we're making the nights. Nevada Skies has by far the darkest nights, so if that's not something you're into, Project Reality definitely reduces those nights. This is a scene taken at midnight. However, it does keep things scary. You're still gonna need the street lights, you're still gonna need to stick to the streets, so you're not gonna need to worry too much about that. RWLE features, in my opinion, the least dark nights, at least that's what I found during my testing here. Uh, it's actually raining at night and it is still brighter than it was with the other mods. Might be a little hard to tell uh, and that's just because how things come across on YouTube. Anyway, those are the mods, they all look fantastic. Let's go ahead and start the installation, starting with Electro City. Okay, now it's time for the installation section of the video. We're going to start off by downloading Electro City. I recommend you download this no matter which mod you're installing because it's great and it's going to be really useful for those darker nights that we have. Head over to the file section on the Nexus page and download the main file with Manager. Uh, that's pretty much all you need. There's nothing you need from the other section so you can move on and select which of the following mods you'd like to install. If you would like to select Fallout New Vegas Project Reality, head over to the link in the description for that mod and go to the file section. From there, download the main file with Manager. There's nothing else that's needed to be downloaded with this mod. If you are choosing to download Nevada Skies, head over to that link in the description and go to the file section. 
From here, you are going to download the main file with Manager. Uh, you're going to notice it says it includes the DLC and a TTW edition. There's going to be some extra steps when activating it, so wait for that before you go ahead. There's also a couple of optional files. You can select some of these if you would like. You can make uh, the knights pitch black, you can make the knights brighter. Uh, basically, just pick the ones that change the knight. Do not select things uh, that will affect Tales of Two Wastelands, as they will not work with New Vegas. Next up, if you are planning on using the Realistic Wasteland Lighting Enhancement mod, go to the file section of that mod and you'll notice there's two main files. You need to download the FNV file, not the TTW file. So download that file with Manager. Okay, once your files have been downloaded, you can go ahead and start the installation process with Electro City. To install it, just double click on it here in your Nexus panel and then hit Manual. Uh, from here, there's going to be a couple of things you're going to need to uncheck. Uh, uncheck this, 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 and this. Uh, so that you only have the meshes, the textures, and the two ESM files. You don't need any of the other stuff, just go ahead and hit OK. It'll begin extracting files and you can check it off in the main pane. Uh, I'm going to start off by showing you how to install Nevada Skies. To install Nevada Skies, double click on the mod that you've downloaded and hit the manual button. From here, you're going to need to set the data directory, but that's not all. You'll notice that there's a Basic Edition, TTW Edition, and Ultimate DLC Edition all featured in this data file. Since we're using the version with all the DLC of the game for this guide, we are going to uncheck Basic Version and uncheck TTW Edition, and then click OK. If you do not do that, your game is going to run into a crashing problem, and that will be why you don't have Tales of Two Wastelands if you're following this guide correctly. Once that's done, you can check it off if you'd like to use it. To install Project Reality, you're going to pretty much do the same thing, hitting Manual, only this time you'll notice that everything's correct. We can uncheck the README, we don't need that, but other than that we can just go ahead and click OK. This mod's packaged properly, it's safe to use. Realistic Wasteland Lighting uh, is another mod that you're going to need to hit Manual on. This one is going to require you to set the data directory down two levels. Uh, until you reach something that looks like this. Once you have the meshes, sounds, textures, and the ESP, you can go ahead and hit OK. One thing to remind you with weather mods is that they always need to be at the bottom of your load order. If not, you can experience texture problems and things like that. So say for example, I decide that I want to use uh, the Project Reality mod. If I go over to my plugin section, it will be at the end now, but if we add other mods later, they will load after it. This is why load order is important. While the sort tool in Mod Organizer can be useful to solve basic things, you're going to need to go ahead and use loot to optimize your load order if you would like to launch the game without as many errors. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed making it. If you're wondering what to watch next, I have provided two videos for you. You can click them right here. Get subscribed by clicking on that circle icon and subscribing to my channel, and please follow myself and Shoelace on the social medias that you see above. Thank you, and have an excellent day.